the last time we were in the UK, we went to a Tesco for the first time, and many of you said we should check out an M&S, that they were more upmarket, and that's just what we're about to do. This Marks and Spencer is uh, clearly like a full Marks and Spencer. It's the department store variety. But I did see that it has a food hall, so we gotta go check that out. We're gonna get a food hall from the food hall. It is weird that it this is like a proper department store. There is a cafe up there, but we just need the food hall. It's weird because we went to a Harrods when we were in London and they had a food hall there, and that's just not a thing that's very common in the US. To, to see a food hall inside of a department store is just a very... Interesting. Thing. Yeah, it's not not normal for us. Like, it's, it's definitely a unique thing for us. Yeah. But we're about to experience the M&S version. It is weird, it's like a grocery store within department, department store. store. It's interesting, we popped into an M&S when we were in like London or somewhere. One of the little small ones. Just to get like some water. Yeah. But man, this is this whole other thing. Yeah. Because we're here in this like crossover between Halloween and Christmas, there's all kinds of special Halloween stuff. Which is tea? <laughs> Yogurt covered raisins. <laughs> oh no, I don't want those. <laughs> I'd eat them. Bubbling bat current instead of black current. That sounds lovely. I was noticing that this one is beastly berry high juice. So is that like Ribena or something? I don't know. Pumpkin spiced martini cocktail. 18 pound for scotch whiskey seems like a pretty good deal. And it says it's eight years aged, I don't know. They have rum and they also have brandy, five years aged. There's like, holiday things for holiday gifts and such right next to the Halloween stuff because as I said we're in this kind of in-between time of year. These honestly look fancier than any of the like cookie candy gifts you could give someone in the US. That's fair. Whoa. Now we know about Percy Pig but we didn't know about the Percy Pig advent calendar. Oh I like that it's milk chocolate every day but then you get an actual bag of the percy pig sweets on christmas day oh, oh man i do want a percy pig planter those are really cute now we have heard that there are some amazing ready meals here and now the dilemma is if we want a cart or a, a trolley or a basket i think jeremy's trying to find a trolley right now we finally found them. They were hidden. I don't know if that's a normal thing. I don't know. But we don't have a coin. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. We have Aldi in the US. Yeah, we have to do a quarter, but I think it's pound coins for these. Okay, next time. Next time we know. Did you guys know that they're in a little weird alleyway? Because we just wandered around until someone helped us. Yeah, it's probably okay. Why'd you have to go and give all the rest of our money to a basket last night? <laughs> give the pound coins to him. <laughs> Serves two for 10 pounds. That seems a little high price, but not too bad, depending on how good it is. Well, you're an MS too, it's supposed to be a more upmarket. Up yeah. Ooh, I don't know where this came from, but beef filled Yorkshire pudding. Yes, please, that's what I want. Ooh, Middle Eastern style lamb shoulder. That sounds pretty good. You can just buy a jar of duck fat or goose fat. Perfect for roasting. Roasting what, like vegetables? Yeah, like vegetables or probably maybe even meat of some sort, yeah. Huh. It's like a cooking medium. Have you seen that in the US? No, I don't think so, but it makes sense. Okay. These salmon fillets look decadent. Ooh, black pepper, mustard, and dill. Hot smoked, that sounds pretty good. Look at all mustardy seeds on that. I noticed when we were at Sainsbury's the other night that they had a tuna and sweet corn. And I'm kind of curious, what is that like? I've never had that before. We do not put corn in our tuna. And I'm very curious about it because it's very not a thing in the US. <laughs> cheese and onion. Oh my gosh, you can make a cheese, like an, a sandwich you can make with that? What does that mean? A deli filler. Does that make mean you can just use like two slices of bread, slap some of that cheese and onion mixture in there and have a cheese and onion sandwich? Because that sounds like a good thing for me. I feel like these are pies that people told us about. 
what should we try? Should we try a steak one? I feel like people told us about these ones. That one sounds good. Should we try one of those? Steak and old peculiar ale. You had me at old peculiar ale. Yep, we're trying that. Cumberland pie. I don't think I've ever heard of Cumberland pie. British beef mince in a rich gravy topped with buttery mash and cheddar cheese crumb. Oh, that sounds lovely. I appreciate the descriptions. Like this one says tender and comforting, hearty and generous. And then this one says it has, wait, this one. This one says it has a comforting gravy. I can't decide if those are descriptors specific to M&S or like the UK in general, but those are not descriptions that I think we would find in the US. Oh, that sounds good actually. Let's try that. You wanna try that? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Man, the ready meals just never end. Here's a whole bunch of casseroles, the Yorkshire pudding one. All kinds of like Sunday roast and roast dinners. These are all like spaghetti and Italian looking. Beef bolognese. Oh, that one has prawns in it. That sounds pretty good. Ooh, look at those nice roasted tomatoes. Do all M&S's have this many ready meal options? Because I feel like, how would you choose dinner? There's so many things that sound wonderful. Look at that. Cauliflower cheese. That sounds pretty good too. Mature cheddar. That looks fun. Carrot and Swede Crush. Wow, look at this one. This is like a platter. Oh, it's a paella. That's why it's so big. They're trying to make it like a giant paella, but it's a mini sized one just for two people, I guess. Yeah, two. I just noticed these crumpets have so much more happening than the ones that we tried. Cheese rarebit and ham crumpets. Found something for you, Kara. It's dinky cheese pinwheels and, and marmite. marmite. They don't look that appetizing, I have to say. But they're, they're three for eight pounds. That's a pretty good deal. <laughs> I think for one pound 50, we're gonna try this one. It's just a little guy. We'll give it a whirl. I'm trying to remember because pork pies, Seems to me like something you would heat up. Yeah. But I think I mean, sometimes people just eat them unheated, cold. Yeah. cold. What's your preference? Do you like them cold or hot? What should we do? Should we heat it up? There's so many freaking choices. Like, <laughs> there's still curry, there's still dim sum. There's like another aisle and a half. Just of ready meals. Just of ready made things. Oh, that naan looks good. That's for me. Naan looks really good. Ooh, these look really good too. Those look tasty. Vegetable samosas. Three pounds, that seems reasonable. Butter chicken, tikka masala. I'm curious because for us, like these prices are all, like we don't know what to expect. Are these prices up? I know that in the US we are de dealing with some serious inflation. I'm sure that that's an issue in the UK as well. I'm just curious, are these prices normal? Are they what you would expect? Or are you saying, oh, that used to be a pound fifty, and now it's two pounds? That's definitely a thing we are experiencing in the U.S. right now. I don't know what Pamela Pumpkin means, but oh, it's a garlic bread. Oh wow, it has red luster on it. <gasps> that sounds so good. That does it's, sound pretty good. Actually. Can we try this? It just seems kind of unusual and delicious, and it's reduced to one pound ninety-six. It's petrified, but don't worry, you can eat it. It's not bad, it didn't go bad. Look at this fresh spaghetti. This looks so good. I'm used to having spaghetti out of a box and now I'm sad about it. Oh, this is all the veggie stuff. Looks like they have their whole brand of their own section. They have like a fake chicken and all kinds of plant-based things. I'm mildly curious, like what is that like? Probably good. Oh, look at this. Look at this snow pork streaky bacon. It kind of looks like the Morningstar one. Kind of and I like that stuff, so I wonder if I'd like that. I'm curious if there's anything out of here you'd recommend. I'm kind of leaning towards trying some of these. Southern fried chicken tenders. They look pretty good. They look pretty good. These look pretty good too. Barbecued chicken. Jeremy, what do you think? Should I get the southern fried chicken tenders or the barbecue chicken bites? I feel like you probably like the tenders more. Okay, I'm gonna You're try the, the tenders. I'm gonna try the tenders. 
we have officially gotten out of the pre-made meals, meals, the ready meals, but I do know that there's a bunch of M&S branded stuff, so we still have to take a look around at that. Whoa, there is Percy Pig ice cream. Vanilla and Percy flavored ice cream rippled with fruity sauce and topped with marshmallows. That sounds like it could go either way, but what is Percy flavored ice cream? What flavor are the Percy gummies? Are they a flavor? Oh, salted caramel mini too. bites. Cookie dough. Wrapped in cookie dough? Oh, they're cookie uh, dough coated in... Oh, they're cook they are cookie dough. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Hey, you, you want some of those? Those sound pretty good. Maybe, I'm not saying no. <laughs> okay, we'll swing back by. Okay. These look like really nice pre-packaged fruits. Like so much better than what you could find in the US. I feel like these are still kind of ready meals. They're just frozen, right? So we just haven't actually gotten out of the ready meal section. <laughs> yep, <laughs> need some of these in my life. Oh, those do look good. Anytime something says mature cheddar, you know it's gonna be good. We've certainly entered the land of Percy Pig. I like this one. It's like a little mailbox. How cute. This says Sty of Wonder and it's my favorite. I get it, I see what you did there and I like it. There's like different kinds of Percy Pigs. But I feel is, like we should is this try. just because it's Christmas or are there always different kinds of Percy Cribs? Well, Percy Cribs? Percy Pigs. This one says Halloween. Oh, okay. And I don't, they just don't look normal. Percy Fizzy Pig Chews. Oh, I want Pals. This one has a lamb on it. Okay, we have to try Percy Pigs, but I'm even overwhelmed by the Percy Pig choices. Mm, should we get a pals and just a original yeah. Percy Yeah, well let's try those, let's try those. Okay. Is there, I feel like we have to get a Colin the Caterpillar or something too. My brother's name is Colin, so I feel like, of course we have to try the Colin the Caterpillar thing. But even that has like 15 choices. Why are there so many choices of things at m and You're making Kara's life hard. It's confusing and overwhelming. So I think you guys are just gonna have to let us know about your favorites of everything. Everything here, what should we get next time? Gums. Oh, those look fun. What are those flavors? Raspberry, Raspberry and, milk. and milk. Yeah, those sound milk good. Those. Let's get those. I think if I brought my brother back something, I would want to bring him an actual, like, this giant sponge cake of Colin the Caterpillar because it's very fun looking. These are called chalk corn. There's a Percy Pig one, but there's other kinds too. So are these just like chocolate corn? Fruity flavored toffee popcorn topped with pink Percy Pig flavored chalk and Percy Pig sweets. I'm very confused. We don't have anything like that, but it looks really good. It's got like a thick layer of white chocolate on it or pink chocolate in Percy Pig's case. Jeremy just pointed out that this gin has a light in the bottom of it and it looks like it has gold flecks, like it's <laughs> gold schlager or something. Citrusy gin for Christmas. That looks I, like a snow globe. It, it's pretty amazing. It's. It's pretty, pretty posh looking gin, but it's only 15 pounds. These ones are called fondant fancies and I love it. Oh, yum. Look at how fancy that chocolate jar is. I guess you put this like as a frosting on a cake or is this no, just a cake, a cake contained in a jar? In a jar? <gasps> I love it. That sounds amazing. Delicious and convenient. Ooh, they have a bakery that has ooh, yummy looking scones, some mean looking butter croissants. Ooh, that Danish looks amazing too. Is it just me or are these more ready meals? Look, there's a banoffee pie in a dessert jar. Let's try that for dessert since we missed the other ice cream things. We have collected quite a bit of stuff we should probably check out now. Probably. I guess it's a good thing we didn't get an actual trolley because we filled our basket with an assortment of just kind of kind of random, some things. random things that we probably don't need. But we're about to try them. I guess it's a good thing we didn't get much more because it wouldn't have fit in the bag. Yeah, thanks Sainsbury's bag. <laughs> From our last trip. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh, these ones are Gruyere. 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 How do you say that? Gruyere. Gruyere. Why is that so hard? I feel like I can normally say that and words are hard right now. Gruyere. Gruyere. <laughs> I think I'm delirious from how tired I am. These are wonderful. You know, someone pointed out to us in one of the last videos, like maybe our grocery video, that they carry these in the US. And when we bought, got back to the US, I realized that, yeah, they are a thing there. I just had never had them or noticed them before, but I don't think they're as good as these M&S ones right now. Pamela, you look great. So does she have pesto eyes? Looks like it. And a creepy smile? Looks like it. Yep. <laughs> the Pamela thing smells pretty good. I mean, it just looks like sort of cheesy naan or like, pizza dough or something but yeah I thought it was gonna be more like naan than it was that cheese mixture is really nice though all right I like it a lot it's just kind of like cheesy pizza sort of yeah it's pretty it's, good though it's pretty good yeah. this toad in the hole meal to share was three pound fifty and looks pretty tasty there in the oven but I guess while we wait for that I'm gonna warm up with an appetizer of some crisps these were the Prosciutto and formaggio. You can really taste the cheese. And the, uh, the prosciutto's there too. But yeah, those are pretty good. They look good. They smell very fragrant, even just getting it near my face. Mm. The cheese is really nice and has a real nice flavor, but there are definitely layers of flavor happening. I also, I don't know, I wasn't expecting them to be crispy. They're almost like a kettle cooked chip. Or is that what it says on the bag? Hand, Hand cooked, cooked crisps. crisps. Well, that's how you know they're fancy. Look at that crusty, crusty goodness. It smells good. That's amazing. I just pretty much love a Yorkshire pudding with anything, I think. Like, it doesn't matter what you put in it, it's delicious. That is a really nice mixture. And for something that was just threw in the oven for 20 minutes. Pretty good. Yeah. Way to go, m &S. Having a pretty carby, but quite tasty dinner. Watching some Pointless, one of my favorite UK game shows. <laughs> I just remembered we still have some desserts to try too. But I am curious, because I feel like the Toad and Hole by itself like needed something a little extra. Jeremy said, I wish we had brown sauce or something. But I'm wondering, like, do you put it gravy on it like you would roast potatoes or like a Sunday roast? What do you put on your toad in the hole? What do you add to it? What makes it a chef's kiss of a thing? We've got ourselves some Percy pigs and some Colin the Caterpillar softies, raspberry and milk flavored foam sweets. I feel like these look like the sharks that we get in mm -hmm. the US where they're like half creamy foamy one, half like gummy, clear gummy but he is mostly the foamy kind with just a little flap of ear. I'm not sure what the fruit flavor is, but it's pleasant, I like it. Yeah, it's just sugary and sweet and delightful. The fruits listed on the back are apple, mandarin, elderberry, and red grape. Oh, okay. So it is sort of like a fruit punch kind of thing. How cute. Mm. Oh, these are really nice. These are softer too, which I'm, are they supposed to be the same consistency or do we get some extra chewy old ones? I don't know. There was lots of bags of Percy Pig, I don't know. These are so good, I love these ones. I like the raspberry milk mixture flavor. Yeah, that's really good. Thanks, Colin, you're delicious. We have even more stuff to try, but I think we're tapped out for the night. So we'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna try more of this stuff. We're back and we're gonna try a couple more things. Jeremy cooked us that, what was it? Peculi old Peculiar Ale, ale and Steak, steak Pie. <laughs> and the, um, chicken. yeah, the vegetarian chicken. Hmm. They smell chickeny. Mm-hmm. They have a good seasoning on them. I noticed that the UK has corn products too. 
I don't know if the like little chicken nuggets are the same in the UK as they are in the US, but these remind me of those like little little chicken tender things. They're pretty good. They have good seasoning. Yeah, they are similar to that. I think they have better seasoning than the corn stuff though. They still smell very chickeny. Yeah. Pretty good. Looks good. It's very steamy. Smell. I can smell the ale. Looks pretty good. I do think maybe it did overdo the crust a little bit, but the flavor inside is really nice. I think a couple of you guys told us to try these like more premium pies, and I think that's worth it. We tried another like ready-made pie last time, and I thought it was just okay. That's actually quite good. Yeah, one thing I'm noticing is like the steak in here looks like really nice quality. Our ready-made meals are, I think less, but like frozen equivalent would be way less delightful looking. Oh my gosh, that is really good. Right? That beef is like just so tender. It like melts in your mouth and it's got like really onioniness. Like I can taste a lot of the actual like cooked onions in it. And the ale a little bit. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really good. It, it does have that old peculiar ale and it, <laughs> it, it, it makes it a delight. That was really good. That's probably my favorite thing we've tried from M&S so far. Yeah, I, I think mean, I agree. If we missed something, please let us know uh, because we definitely had fun doing this, um, experimenting with some of the different things that you can get in m and There are so many other choices, so please give us some suggestions for next time. Thank you to our patrons for coming along with us, and we will see you soon. We are heading all over the place. We're going to new countries we've never been, so we'll see you soon.